Hello, our viewers. This is Teacher Anamas Metaitas going to take you through the UNEB UCE 2024 Biology Theory, paper 5.3, stroke 1. And this paper consists of two sections, section A and section B. Section A consists of two compulsory items, and section B consists of two parts, where each part contains two items, and you only attempt one item. There is part one, which has item four, and item five, you attempt only one item. Part two, you, it also has two items, you attempt only one item. Now for today, we are going to do the solutions for item one. All items come from each of a given element of construct. And for item one, it comes from element of construct two which says the learner understands how plants obtain and use nutrients to meet their requirements during which raw materials are carried to and for the organs. This element of construct is having five topics. We have nutrition in plants, transport in plants, reproduction in plants, human and environment, and then growth and development in plants. These topics we have here, you'll find that all of them are just concerning what we call plant biology. It's rotating about plant biology. And then for this item, one of ours, which, were give, which was given to us by your name, each item, whenever you going to attempt the item, we look at your understanding of biology. And then we look at your application of the knowledge of biology. For understanding, you will find that an item may require you to where you attempt the item by understanding by this thing. And then there is also what we call understanding by explaining. We also have application by this thing and also application by explaining. For understanding by this thing, it works for questions which just require you. They, like they ask, mention, list, outline, state. That one you just give, you just outline your answer or just list. But when a question requires you to understand by explaining, that question will involve discuss, describe, explain, and evaluate. We also have application. With application, the knowledge of biology is understood. How do you apply it in the everyday life? How do you apply it outside there? Let's look at the example you are given. By your name, item one. Our item one in your name says Badru is a pumpkin farmer in Kitumbla in Kitumba village. The village experienced a long dry season characterized by high temperatures, much sunshine, and dry windy conditions. During the season, the hairy pumpkin leaves would droop in buckets they give us, bend downwards, and flower petals remained closed for a long part of the day, but they would straighten and open during the early morning hours, respectively. But you have harvested a few and very small-sized pumpkins of poor quality. Task. Mention the processes in the pumpkins, in the pumpkin plants that were affected by the conditions experienced. Part B. Describe how the conditions experienced affected the functioning of the pumpkin plants, which led to poor yields. Part C, explain how pumpkins managed to survive the conditions experienced. We got the response part. Part A, our part A, is asking you to mention the processes in the pumpkins that were affected by the conditions. In this part, they are saying mention. They are simply saying mention. And for this mention, a learner, we show the knowledge of understanding biology by just simply listing. Understanding by listing. And what are you going to list? You, they are asking for processes affected in the plants. You cannot give a process by not knowing which structure, before knowing the structure which was affected in that plant. Because each of the structure has a particular process. It's hoping that plant, each of the structure has a particular process taking place in that structure. So, how shall we get the process? You simply go to 
the structures which were affected. They told you about high temperatures, high temperatures and too much sunshine. Which process do you think will be affected? You find that high temperature and sunshine increases rate of transpiration. And this will affect, will result into water loss. How will the plant respond? The plant will respond by causing its tomato to cut down water loss. When it causes its tomato to cut down water loss, it limits the amount of carbon dioxide taken in for photosynthesis. And therefore, you find that the process affected in that case, it is simply photosynthesis. This photosynthesis is as well affected when the plant leaves bend. When they bend, they are not positioned properly for maximum light absorption. And therefore, you'll find that they are providing a less surface area for light absorption. In such a case, still photosynthesis is also a, as well affected. The closure of the stomata responding to transpiration rate will also result into another process being affected, which is gas exchange. The other process we find being affected when the petals do close during the most of hours of the day, you find that pollination is also affected. The other process which will still be affected during this time of the with, with these conditions experienced by the pumpkins, you find that water absorption is also affected. How is water absorption affected? The dry conditions may result in two the death of the roots and therefore the plants may not absorb enough water. So in this case, these are the processes affected and each process I have attached it to a particular structure in the plant which was affected by the conditions. How are these items scored? These ones you simply mentioned or you simply listed. So we give you understanding by listing, understanding by listing. And in each case, understanding by listing. There is no explanation given concerning your biology there. You've just listed. And therefore, we score it as understanding by listing. That was our party A. And then we have party B. Party B. What is your part B saying? Part B was saying, describe how the conditions experienced affected the functioning of the pumpkin plants, which led to poor yields. So for this part B, you are going to look at what conditions were you given and then which factor was affected, which process was affected that could have led to low yields. First of all, they talked about high temperatures and too much sunshine. You find that here you're going to, they are giving you to describe. This question which involves describing, you must give us the understanding by explaining. And understanding by explaining, you give the process you're talking about plus a reason, or the structure you're talking about plus a reason. So in this part, we shall have high temperatures, high temperatures, and too much sunshine caused to water loss, which limited, which limited carbon dioxide uptake, which limited carbon dioxide uptake, reducing the rate of photosynthesis. And of course, once rate of photosynthesis decreases, meaning less food will be manufactured and stored within the pumpkin fruits. What is the other condition? Someone may still as well talk about high temp the high temperatures and too much sunshine we are saying it caused closure of the stomata in response to water loss. And when the stomata close, you will find that the plant is facing an issue of carbon dioxide uptake. You take in limited carbon dioxide and therefore it will manufacture less food, which will be stored in very few and small pumpkin fruits. The other one we shall talk about will be about the pollination. We shall have closing of the flower petals, closing of the flower petals minimized. Actually, let me get at this. Time. Closing of the flower petals reduced pollination. Closing of the flower petals reduced pollination as the pistils and stamens were not accessible by the agents of pollination, by agents of pollination. And therefore, a few pumpkin fruits were formed. Remember, these pumpkins, you find that whenever they are flowering, we tend to find the bees rotating around those flowers. And what are these bees doing there? They collect nectar, but in the same sense, they are also carrying out pollination. So in an instance where 
the flower petals are closed, you are going to find that there is reduced pollination. Why? The pistils and stamens are not accessible by the agents of pollination like the bees, and therefore we shall have reduced pollination taking place. Finally, we end up with a few pumpkin fruits formed due to a few successful pollination having taken place. In all these cases I'm talking about, how is the learner going to get the mark? You find that you're talking about a condition and what the condition caused. We find closure of the stomata. What is this closure of the stomata resulting to limited carbon dioxide uptake? And we're having limited carbon dioxide uptake, you find that the rate of photosynthesis is now reduced, which is responsible for less food manufactured and stored within the what? The pumpkin fruits. And then for this other one, closure of the stomata, the closure of the flower petals, it was given to us, but what does it result into? You find that there is reduced pollination. Reduced pollination, which shields are due to the pistils and stamens being not accessible by the agents of pollination. And therefore, you end up with a few pumpkin fruits formed. We shall also have the other one. Still on that same case, we have in the scenario they talked about bending of the leaves during hot days and they would straighten up during the morning hours. Bending of these leaves, you find that it reduces the surface area for light absorption. And once you reduce the surface area for light absorption, meaning you end up with a reduced rate of photosynthesis. And with a reduced rate of photosynthesis, you shall have less food manufactured and stored within a few and small pumpkin fruits. That's the other one you would add on. They also talked about dry windy conditions. These dry windy conditions resulted into an increase in water loss. How? You find that dry windy conditions increase the rate of transpiration. And therefore, the plant lost a lot of water, which is responsible to sometimes find that that loss of much water can be responsible for bending of some of the plant parts. The other one, you talk about the dry, windy conditions, which resulted in two increased rate of transpiration, whereby plants lost significant amounts of water, and therefore less water was available for photosynthesis plus limited growth. When there is limited photosynthesis, you don't expect the plant to grow in the normal rate. And therefore, with reduced photosynthesis, you find that there is limited growth. Why? The plant is having less water available for photosynthesis. We all know that water is a raw material for photosynthesis. And once the plant is having it in limited quantities, there will be low rate of photosynthesis. The other one you will talk about bending of the leaves, which reduce the surface area for light absorption and reduce the rate of photosynthesis. And therefore, a few and small fruits were formed. They were few and also small in size, according to our scenario. With this one, you find that when the leaves are bent, the chlorophyll are not precisely positioned to absorb maximum light. And therefore, once they are absorbing limited light, you find that there is also reduction in the rate of photosynthesis. With reduction in the rate of photosynthesis, there will be manufacture of less food, which will be stored in a few and small fruits, just like the scenario said. That's our party B. For part C, it's saying explain how the pumpkins managed to survive the experienced conditions. This question, they are saying, explain how the pumpkins. It requires you to reason, to apply your knowledge of biology. And therefore, in this case, it is going to be, first of all, they say explain, meaning it's application by explaining, application by explaining. And in this case, you're going to explain, simply looking at adaptations of the pumpkin plants to the conditions it experienced, which enabled it to survive more. With this one, you find that the pumpkin plants, first of all, they talked about them having hairs. So you find that they possess hairy leaves. 
These hair leaves trap escaping water vapor, reducing rate of transpiration. The first one we find that they possess hair leaves which trap escaping vapor, therefore reducing the rate of transpiration. With this, how are the pumpkin plants able to survive? Bending downwards of the leaves to lower exposure to intense sunlight and wind, which is just to other way to reduce water loss. There is also these leaves you find that they would straighten up during the early morning hours to allow some photosynthesis to occur. And allowing this photosynthesis to occur, it would give the plant a chance to make some food that would ensure its survival. So you find that the plant was doing this in two ways. It would bend down its leaves during the hot days to reduce water loss, and it would straighten up the leaves during the morning hours just to trap enough sunlight and enable some photosynthesis to take place so as to manufacture some food and ensure its survival. However, the food manufacturer during this time is very small. That's why it ended up with a few and smaller fruits. The other way, you will find that this plant was also having another mechanism of adapting to the harsh environmental conditions. There is also another way, which was closure of the flower petals during the hot parts of the days, just to protect the delicate parts of this flower, which was the stamen and the pistil but it also helped in conserving moisture. This other one, you find that this plant had a tendency of closing its flower petals during the morning hours. Why was it doing so? It was ensuring that it conserves some moisture inside and also protects the delicate flower parts which are involved in reproduction. Those are the stamens and the fistules. However, during the morning hours, this plant would open its flower petals to expose the pistils and the stamens to agents of pollination to allow some pollination and putting to allow some pollination to take place and therefore some fruits were formed. You will not say to simply allow pollination to take place. Maybe if you're saying to simply allow pollination to take place, you're meaning that you're allowing it to fully take place. But here we are just the plant is just allowing some pollination to take place so that it can form some fruits to ensure its survival. And in this part where you applying the knowledge of biology, we shall only mark you to as application by explaining if you give us the point well explained. In this case, someone who just gives possession of hair leaves. How are the hair leaves important? You have to give the benefit of the hair leaves. Trapping, escaping vapor. And therefore, why? As you trap escaping vapor, you're reducing the rate of transpiration. Bending downwards of the leaves. Someone may talk about bending downwards of the, bending downwards of the leaves, but how is it important? It's important to reduce water loss through lowering the exposure to intense sunlight and wind. That's how someone can put it get the point for application by explaining. And also straightening up of the leaves during the early morning hours. You would also score, but by giving us how it helped the plant, allowing some photosynthesis to occur to ensure survival. That's how you'd also qualify to get a full mark for application by explaining. And also here you also get another application by explaining as well as here. That's how we would handle our item one. Thank you. For more explanation concerning our item one, just go to Cat B, which you can download from App Store and actually Google Play Store. You can download that app and access all the information concerning this item. It will give you all the explanations well written down and you can be able to understand it in details. You can also subscribe to our channel 